We arrived in Georgetown, Exuma, on November 28th, just two weeks after we left our home in Florida and just in time for Thanksgiving. Georgetown has a very active cruising community and they organized a Thanksgiving potluck dinner. We were only too happy to join them in and share in the good spirit. It was there that we met the crews of two other sailboats that we would later travel with to the Turks and Caicos Islands. Yeah, I love potlucks. It's my favorite meals. Potlucks are. Mm -hmm. and, and get other people's, you know, dishes. Mm, hi, how are you? We're having Thanksgiving on the beach. All oh, those days everywhere. Good morning, Chantel. What are you doing? Well, I am uh, helping, hopefully helping, um, to fix uh, another sailboat's jib. The sail uh, broke off right here, the top, the tip of it. Yeah, the... It was like this, like that, like that. And, and it just, a ring just exploded. That goes in here, that attaches to the uh, halyard at the top of the the mast, and um, the whole thing came apart. The stitches came undone, and the sail just. Fell down and the ring flew off overboard so, and I'm gonna attempt to restitch it. I offered my help. I don't know if I can do it because it's really thick and my machine might not make it. So we'll give it a shot and see what we can do. All right. You can only try. Going to the market in Georgetown. get some gasoline for the boat I have to we have to go get some groceries fresh groceries for the next trip over so we're gonna be crossing keep going down to Long Island and uh, Turks and Caicos that's our destination and uh, I have to go do laundry so we got a few things to do maybe we'll have a bite to eat while we're over there in town we're gonna go to that little, under that little bridge there. That's the passage to get into Lake Victoria. Oh, not many boats on the uh, dinghy dock. They also have free water there. So for those who don't have water make So we're leaving Georgetown and we are on our way. Oh, there's some nasty breaks over there. Oh, yo, yo. I don't know. We might have to go around. We might have to win another day. But hopefully we get a boat in front of us. Well, we are, we're a flotilla of three boats. So he's going to tell us how it is, the first boat up ahead. And if it's too, the waves are, the breakers are too big, we're not going to go. We're going to wait for it to lay down. We'll go the other way. So we'll see. 
But yeah, those breakers are. Whew. That's shallow there. In Alpine Ocean, it's not that bad. Um, yeah, we're on our way to Turks and Caicos via Long Island. So, hopefully, we'll have safe travel today. Starting to go through the cut. There's reefs, so we gotta go around those reefs. Whew. Nice breakers on both sides. Yeah, yeah. But there's uh, two boats of a, ahead of us. Oh man, he's swinging. Ay, ay, ay. See, it gets better after the white water. Yeah. Another waypoint. Uh, don't get too close to the reef, though. I am. I am. Okay. Wow. That one might have got us. Turn into it. You're heading for a reef, honey. You gotta turn. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm gonna get rolled at the wave on my left. Take your, take your pick. Look at this one. Okay. Don't yell at me. Alright. Look at that breaker. Ooh. Come on, I gotta miss that one. Come on, Maracuja. You're almost there. You're almost there. Almost there. Oh, shit. Come on. Maybe you should go faster. Yeah, I, I don't, it doesn't go faster. Hang on. Going into it. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> you gotta avoid those rocks over there. That's a bad one. I gotta turn into that one. Yep, yep, yep. You got room though. Okay. Another set. Okay. We're gonna end up. That's actually off the way for it though. That's alright, that's alright. Okay. Got 35 feet of water. Though. Yeah, you got plenty of room. You don't want to be too close to those rocks. That does not look good over there. That's pretty close. It says we're almost at a waypoint to turn. Over, I hope. Now we get a five, six hours of motoring because yep. the wind's in our nose. We are going to some pretty hefty swells. Look at that. So it's not so bad, but wait. Sometimes I don't even see the other boat in front of us. Whoever said today's swell was going to be five feet was lying. If 
Some of those swells are like, I don't know, 12 feet high. It's like giant. Got a little group going to Long Island. This is uh, Triumph in front of us. And I guess the boat Reverie, which we didn't talk to, but they're going, looks like they're going to the same spot. And behind us, oh, I don't, you can't even see them, is um, Wabi Sabi. We got four boats. It is 6.30 a.m. on a lovely December day. We are leaving this crazy, roly Calabash Bay. We probably slept an hour last night. It was rolling, rolling, rolling. Now we're uh, following wa Wabi Sabi and Triumph out the uh, north entrance to Calabash Bay and uh, looks looks a lot better today doesn't it yeah yeah we probably hit a golly a six or seven foot wave coming in inside the bay leaving Calabash Bay in Long Island beautiful sunrise All right, so we're leaving Long Island. Clarence Town. Yep, and on our way to Mayaguana. We got about 120 miles to go. We'll do an overnight sailing. By now, we have some pretty nice Swell. swells, about five feet, six feet maybe. But it's supposed to come down tonight. So we're just going downwind, and the wind's pushing us. We're totally sailing. What's our speed? Uh, five, five. Five, five, six knots. So we're doing good on just a jib. Nice sunny day. Started out very cloudy and I thought a little rain and uh, it cleared out. And our friends triumph over there. And where is... I'm hanging on. Wabi Sabi is out there. We're traveling together. These are our companions. Put this leg. The jeep is up, looking good. Okay. So swells. Woo. Well, it is 2:30 in the morning. boats next to us, Triumph and Wabi Sabi. Over here is another catamaran called One Love, but they're not answering the radio, so we're thinking the radio is off or they're asleep. Either way, that's not good. We uh, went off course to uh, go around, but now we're close to Plain of Keys, so something you really don't want to do but we got we got another mile to plane it so or planet keys that's a good to name it. but the stars are beautiful seas are relatively calm no wind picked a good uh, window to uh, cross the my my iguana from uh, Clarence Town Long Island I think it's going to be like a uh, 30 hour trip maybe, 26 to 30 hours, this deep. We only sailed for 6 hours and the wind just dropped out crazy. So, looking forward to morning. Good anymore. 
but be a little scared, not really scared, but apprehension because there was a ship coming from the opposite direction. So we kind of had to go around to avoid him and he went the other way. But all was good. It will be daylight in about an hour. And um, we should be there soon. So I can't wait. We've got another, I don't know, 20 or so miles to go. This is such a magical moment. The sun is just starting to peek through, the daylight is coming. It's about 6 a.m., close to 6, 5.30, something like that. I see the lights of the town of Mayaguana, the point of the island. Mayaguana is the island, so I can't remember what the name of the town is. And you can see the ribbons of lighting in the sky turning pink and orange. The ocean is slick. A few ripples and some swell, but nothing uncomfortable. It's a beautiful night. Way back there we have a couple other boats. Yeah, it was a great night. Good night motoring anyway. Wish we had some wind so we could have sailed, but it wasn't to be. Uh, I love when the water is like this. Then we have our two friends boat up ahead, leading the way to our anchorage. I love this time of day. I'm starting to like it even more now. I'm usually a night person. But now I might be changing to a morning person, to an early bird. Look at that. Look at that water, the sky. I hope you guys can see this. Here comes the sun. Yeah, beautiful. I don't know if it's a line of clouds or rain or just clouds. We'll see. There, the rod thing won't be there. I got the alcohol. I'm ready. Okay. I want to see what it is anyway. Oh, something jumping out there. I saw thing, two things jumping. Yeah. Maybe it's tuna? Yeah. Oh, I heard it say with fish on. You want to hear fish in? Wow. Look at the color of the meat. The starfish is fish. Pretty clear today. Just caught a barracuda and a little tuna. This is, uh, I think, Abrams Bay. 
my iguana. To my iguana, honey. Oh, oh my goodness. My gosh. Overnighter. Woo. We made it. It's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. It was definitely worth it. <laughs> Look at this place. Oh. This is amazing. All right, we got to put the dinghy in the water. Yes, it, it'd be dinghy riding today. Woo! I thought the plan was everyone was going to take a nap. Nah, no nap. We're, we're, this bottle is just too nice. Oh, that's one of my belt. Oh. I'm sweating. I got to change. Oh, my God. So you don't even see the difference between the ocean and the water. It's an infinity pool. Yes. <laughs> and we're in an infinity pool. All right. Wow. Show me your bounty! Oh, oh my god! We spent two nights in Abraham's Bay, Mayaguana, with our new friends enjoying drinks and dinner together. When there is good weather, this bay is like paradise. As we moved to the eastern point of Mayaguana to position ourselves for our overnight crossing to the Turks and Caicos Islands, our friends Jeff and Mary from the sailing vessel Triumph decided to continue on all the way to the Dominican Republic. Our friends, Peter and Aline, from the sailing vessel Wabi Sabi, were to continue on to the Turks and Caicos with us. But first, we enjoyed snorkeling the point and found the most beautiful reef we had ever seen before.